streptococcal nephritis can occur following two types of streptococcal infection. There can be a sore throat infection, then the patient develops renal disease or there is a skin infection of streptococcus, then the patient develops renal disease. Which of the following is true about acute PSGN post streptococcal nephritis? We have four options here and uh, then they are asking about option A, B, C and D. So, let us look at these options one by one. Option A, electron dense humps are seen on a glomerular basement membrane when you do electron microscopy which is a true statement. If you look at the uh, features of PSGN, you will find that electron microscopic feature do involve presence of electron dense humps. Then you have uh, option number 4. Option number 4 is C3 is low in acute phase and returns to normal in 6 to 8 weeks. It is also a true statement because as soon as PSGN begins, there is a sudden fall in the serum C3 levels. But this persistent uh, low C3 is not seen and they tend to improve in six, within 6 to 8 weeks. In fact, if there is persistence for of low C3 beyond 8 to 12 weeks, you consider it as an indication for further investigation to to, to see what is the reason for that persistently low C3 level and so option number 4 is also correct. Option number 3, renal biopsy is indicated if prolonged hypocomplementemia persists more than 2 months. Again, it is a true statement and what we are left with? For PSG and following streptococcal skin infection, ASO titers are more sensitive than anti dna B titers is a false statement. Overall speaking, in post streptococcal nephritis, anti dns b is slightly more sensitive than ASO titers. Normally what we see is that in patients with, now see, streptococcal nephritis can occur following two types of streptococcal infection. There can be a sore throat infection, then the patient develops renal disease or there is a skin infection of streptococcus, then the patient develops renal disease. In case of sore throat, it has been found that ASO titers are very sensitive, right? So they will be elevated. But in patients with streptococcal pyoderma, that is streptococcal skin infection, the sensitivity of ASO titer is significantly less and you cannot depend upon ASO titers alone. For evidence of a recent streptococcal infection, you need to do the titers of anti dns B in streptococcal pyoderma if it has preceded development of nephritis. And so the option number two is wrong. And so three options are correct. So they are asking which of the following is true among A, B, C and D. You have one, three and four options being correct. What is that uh, statement? That statement is D and that is your answer because option number two is wrong. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.